The goal of the Summer Reading Club uh, is just to sort of bridge the gap um, between June and September for kids in a couple ways. For one thing, obviously, we really want to keep kids reading and uh, interacting with books all summer long because a lot of kids, especially in the primary ages, they do so much work over the school year to get their reading levels up and they get really excited about it. And then if they don't look at books for three months, um, then they can actually show back up in September and find that they've kind of forgotten how to do it a little bit. It's not just about the books at the Fort St. John Public Library. Their summer reading program is taking kids beyond what's written on the page. Well, that is one thing we really like to do, just keep kids engaged in, uh, in, in reading and all sorts of literacy activities. And another thing we like to do is just uh, keep kids active and, and social with other kids. Because over the summer months, um, I know that sometimes kids can just end up staying inside all the time or just being at home and playing their Xbox or even just, you know, playing by themselves at home or reading at home. But we really like to have all these different activities that can keep kids um, engaging with other kids and having a good positive time. Participating in the Library and Beyond program is a nice change for Matthew, who says he'd be spending his summer plugged in. Playing video games, playing more video games, watching more, watching movies, watching more movies, playing more video games. So this gets you outside of that. Do you like that? Getting unplugged from electronics and away from the TV helps kids plug in to the community around them. Um, we want to keep kids, again, not always at home, um, but out in the community and seeing what's going on in and around Fort St. John because I think a lot of people, um, if you first move to the town or even if you've been here the, your whole life, sometimes you're really not aware of what um, there is to do around town. So every, every single time we're doing a different activity, we've got kids who they might never have been bowling before. They might never have been to the pool, even though they've been here their whole life. So we really like to have all these different activities for kids uh, to experience during the summer. The part of the program that takes place beyond the four walls of the library can really help kids when they're reading. In chapter books, um, like with no pictures, you try to make pictures in your head that go along with the words, that's what makes it fun for me to read. Do you think sometimes these trips, like going, if you were reading a story about animals and then you came here, do you think that helps you with your imagination? Yeah, it would. Like, say you didn't know what like an elk looked like. Um, there's elk down that way in the Swell Game Farm. And like, then you can get to see the elk. One of the exciting parts of the program is seeing the kids make discoveries or do something for the first time. Absolutely. The discovering different things that, that are available in the community is a really, really valuable experience for these kids because um, I think a lot of us, uh, adults and kids, we experience a lot of things through our televisions and our computers and our smart technology and that can be really rewarding and enriching as well. It's amazing what sort of things you can access through technology these days, but the hands-on, face-to-face sort of interactions are just incredibly valuable and I think sometimes those, um, those experiences become a a little bit rare when kids are at home with uh, with their technology um, or they're maybe just going to lessons or different um, sports specific clubs that sort of thing what we like to do is to try to get out and experience a variety of different activities and uh, and community groups there are other options in the city for kids during the summer but the library really tries to accommodate the interests of a lot of different backgrounds kids during the summer they might go to a, a sports specific camp which is great for them um, or they might go to music lessons or dance lessons and that's really valuable as well But what we like to do is to throw in a little bit of reading and a little bit of sports and a little bit of meeting animals and a little bit of art and uh, And have it all as a great big free fun experience Some kids have even conquered their fears during the program. We went to the community forest I'm free. I have a big phobia of dead things so Seeing the dead things wasn't a big thing for me. Feedback so far has been positive and the word has been spreading, something that library staff is excited about.
We are really, really glad to see how excited the kids are, um, both with the library and beyond and with our um, regular story time schedule. We are having really full groups, really fun activities, and it's really great to see all of these kids because, um, like I said before, we do offer everything for free, which is really key for us. As a library, everything we do is free all the time. And we do this because we want the library to be a very inclusive, welcoming, and safe environment for everyone in the community. Whether it's kids or adults, um, the library is moving beyond just being a, a, a big room full of books. That's the old model of the library. That's not really what we are anymore. We like to see ourselves more as a community and information access point. And actually, a lot of uh, libraries in the library community right now are moving towards calling themselves more like a community living room. And that is something that we like to move towards as well. We like to be a really welcoming and open um, forum and, and just meeting place for people to come together and make a human connection. For Around the Peace, I'm Stacy Robbins in Forza John.